in the quiet countryside of Bucks County, with the lovely verdant green land. And everything was still and quiet. Birds were singing, grass was growing, getting of spring. But a transition occurred. What was this beautiful land? suddenly changed. Was it for the better? Was it for the worse? Yes. Suddenly it happened. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Well, we've decided to go geothermal. We're changing the way we heat and cool our home using clean energy sources instead of the conventional electric heat pump system. So what does that mean? That means two days of digging up the ground, at least six foot down to lay 5,000 feet of tubing. So we're going to show you just how we did it in our home. So the goal is all this tubing, five cores of 800 feet and the header tube, which you see on the left, has to be dug into the ground. So we need to put in four trenches to take all these coils. Once we've determined exactly where the trenches are going to be, the digger has started to dig. He's going to be digging trenches 100 foot long, three foot wide and six foot deep. Meanwhile, there needs to be some prep work done on these pipes. <laughs> Underground loops are created from each coil using a rig to standardize the coil size. You'll see the loops just flattening out on the table and they're locked into place with cable ties. Each 800 foot coil is stretched out in this uniform way to create a 100 foot loop. As you can see, the return pipe is locked into place too. These two processes, the digging and the prep work, it's certainly a race. They occur at the same time, and by the time the trench is dug, the coil should be complete. Not quite sure who's going to win this race. It's going to be close, though. Once these two things have been completed, it's just a case of dropping the coil into the ditch. As you can see, it's certainly not a difficult process. They'll drop it right down so that the whole coil sits neatly down at the bottom of the trench. So the coil is sitting in the bottom of the ditch. A bit of water in there, but it's not a problem in this case. Now it's a case of filling in the trench. The dirt is filled in slowly. Tamp down at regular intervals to ensure the coil is in firm contact with the ground, with no gaps or stones. Now all that needs to be done is the ground leveled out. As you can see, the filling and leveling is a one-run process. It takes a little bit of time, but that's the first trench complete. Now all we have to do is dig three more. As you can see, the coil for the second trench is already in the process of being built. I guess you know who's going to win this race this time. The only part of the trench that's not filled in is at the head, where all the coils join together to be linked up to the house. That you'll find out about later. While all the digging is going on outside, there's another step of the process going on inside, putting in the pipes into the home to connect to the new system that was put in two days ago. They certainly know how to fit pipes into tight corners, and as you can see, the tubing inside the house is heavily insulated. Okay, so all the four trenches are complete now, so all we have to do is cut the final run to the house, right across the grassy lawn and through the bushes. Well, that's not a problem for this team. They're landscape gardeners, too. Nothing is too much trouble. They dig the trench, and they dig it all the way to the house. This trench will not only take the main feed, but because of the distance of the trench, we've managed to put in another coil, which means it meant we didn't have to do that extra fifth coil out in the field. Once the trench is inspected, we can now lay down the feed pipes and the final coil, still six feet down. All the pipes then are joined together at the header, as you can see, one, two, three, four, and the fifth. Before the final filling is done, the whole coil system is pressure tested to ensure there are no leaks, 
pumped to 90 psi and then held for 30 minutes. Good. Great. No leaks. Now the final connection to the inside system and filling in the trenches, putting back the shrubs and tidying up the landscape. The final step is to seed the grassy area and shake down the straw cover. So there you have it. What was once a lovely scenic Bucks County area is still as lovely as ever. Just let nature take its course and you'll never know this ever happened. The difference, however, is that we have a quiet, very low energy air handling system in our home for heating and cooling our house. Yes, we got rid of that noisy air conditioning unit and substituted it with this. Yes, we're using the geothermal properties of the ground. It's nice and peaceful and nature has taken over. And best of all, the government helped pay for some of this.